In tonight's Fox 7 Focus, we're talking about some pretty cool science that's happening right here in Austin. Astronomers from the University of Texas are using artificial intelligence to find and identify white dwarf stars that are actually gobbling up planets outside of our solar system. I spoke to one of those astronomers, Malia Gao, to learn more about this cutting edge research. Talk to us a little bit about uh, this discovery. Um, what are polluted white dwarfs and how many of them did you find? So a white dwarf is the remnant core of dead stars like the sun. And so the sun and about 95% of all stars in the universe will become white dwarfs at the end of their lives. And so if a planet or an asteroid gets too close um, to the white dwarf, it'll be torn apart by tidal forces. And so since the white dwarf's atmosphere becomes polluted, by these metals from the infalling debris. That's why we call them polluted white dwarfs. You say that the planets are essentially gobbled up by these stars. How does that happen? It's a lot like how Saturn's uh, Saturn's rings are. So if you didn't know, um, Saturn's rings are eventually going to disappear because the rings are constantly feeding the planet. It's the same kind of idea with a polluted white dwarf. So you end up with like this ring of planetary debris around the white dwarf. And so that debris disk, like kind of like that ring of, you know, the dead planet is constantly feeding the white dwarf in that sense. And so, yeah, talk about this discovery. How many of these stars did you find? Yeah, so we found um, 375 of these new polluted white dwarfs out of 100,000 in the Gaia Space Telescope survey. And so what's special about the polluted white dwarfs that we found is that they contain um, different types of metals in their atmospheres. And these specific ones, we call them heavily polluted white dwarfs. They're um, very rare because only a few dozen have been dis discovered up until now. And so you're talking about hundreds of stars here. How did these researchers from UT actually find and identify all these? I understand AI was a big part of the process. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, yeah. So given the large volume of stars, it would be nearly impossible for us to like identify the polluted white dwarfs by eye. Um, that would take, take probably a really long time. Um, and so that's why we employ AI uh, to do this for us. And so we used an unsupervised machine learning technique called UMAP. It creates a very readable 2D map for us where the white dwarfs with similar atmospheric features are clumped together and those with dissimilar features are kind of separated out. From this information that you're learning about the white dwarfs, you can actually learn about planets as well, right? Planets outside our solar system. Can you explain yes. how 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 does that work? How do you how do you learn about those? So one of the main questions in astronomy is whether our solar system is unique in sustaining life. And what the polluted white dwarfs can tell us is how similar other planetary systems are to our, our own solar system. And so if other planetary systems evolve similarly similarly to our own um, the possibility of life existing beyond ourselves may become more concrete. How exciting is it for you to be part of this research and knowing that all this is happening, you know, w with people right here in Austin? Yeah, it's honestly a dream come true. I mean, I never thought that I would be in this position. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm completely stoked. <laughs> yeah, this is amazing. All right, Malia Gao, a fourth year PhD student in the astronomy department at UT. Uh, Malia, thanks so much for being here and explaining all this to us. We, we appreciate it. Yeah, of course.